Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today we're going to be using Blender to view LEGO Digital Designer uh, files and uh, manipulate them and be able to render them. So what is LEGO Digital Designer? LEGO Digital Designer is a simple program made by LEGO that allows you to build uh, your LEGO creations in a, a virtual environment on your computer. Um, however, you can't do too much with it, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be importing those models in the Blender. So this is going to be a little tutorial on getting all of that stuff set up. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to download Blender. And there's going to be a total of four things that we're going to download. So we click on this. We can scroll down, and you can download the version uh, for you, uh, for your computer, uh, wherever you are. Uh, personally, I'm on Mac OS X, so I'm just going to choose US, and that's going to be downloading up there. In the meantime, let's move on to our next uh, download, which is going to be the LDR importer. And basically, this will allow us uh, to import from uh, LEGO Digital Designer into Blender. And uh, it was made by this guy, and he kindly shared it. And so we're going to be going to uh, this link here. Uh, and this is uh, all in the description, uh, so you can follow these links here. But this is the LDR importer. We're going to go to our the download section, and we're going to click on the .zip for the LDR importer. We don't want the source code. Uh, we just want the actual importer. While that's downloading, let's move on to the next download, which is is going to be on ldraw.org and so uh, basically we just go to the downloads tab up here and then the parts downloads and this will bring you to this page here so uh, what we want to do is we want to download the complete .zip and that will get all of the parts uh, so that we have as many as possible to work with so let's click on that and that will start downloading uh, now, we need to get LEGO Digital Designer, unless you already have it, in which case, even better. But for now, I'm going to be downloading it as well. Uh, the system requirements are not all that high, so you should be pretty good. Um, so we're just going to click Download Now, as I'm on a Mac. If you were on Windows, you just choose that. And now we're going to wait for all of that stuff to download. Okay, so now that everything is downloaded, uh, we're going to start setting everything up. Uh, Mac automatically decompresses uh, zips, so uh, I haven't had to touch any of these. However, if you're on Windows where it doesn't automatically decompress zips, uh, then do so now so that uh, everything here is decompressed and so you have it looking like this, aside from the OS X folder there. Uh, that would be like Windows something. So we're going to take this LDRAW folder here uh, that's going to be uh, used as our parts reference for Blender so that it can import properly and we're going to just drop that straight into the documents folder um, that way it can be nice and safe and not just residing in our downloads now we're going to be installing LDD so we're going to just launch that package installer uh, for Windows that may be different that may be like an MSI whatever launch it and go through the installation process uh, which I'm going to go through real quick now. While it's doing that, we're going to pop over here, and we're going to be opening up our Blender. However, before we do that, um, it may be a good idea to move that to uh, a different folder, such as the applications, or in the case of Windows, maybe program files or documents, or whatever the Blender install installer uses. I'm just going to be using it directly from the downloads for now. So we launch Blender, and this will be our uh, 3D uh, design program. So it's going to verify that. And, okay, so LEGO Digital Designer was successfully installed, so we can close that. And we're going to open Blender. Uh, the black screen you see in the background is LDD opening up. And when LDD first opens, there will be uh, a couple bricks that it is downloading from the internet uh, that it's installing to that. 
and then Blender should be opening in just a moment. There we go. So now this is uh, the Blender here, and so we can just click outside of that to close that. And for now, we're going to be popping over to LDD. So now that we're in LDD, we're just going to simply open up a previous house I had created in LDD. So that'll load up that model. And so it's right click to orbit around uh, the model. And then uh, from your parts bin over here, you can easily grab parts and uh, place them onto your uh, model over here. So you can see I've got a brick here, and using the arrow keys I can rotate it around and it snaps to the bricks. Uh, so that's just a little introduction to the LDD. Um, what we need to do now for us to use this uh, model is we need to go to File, and then we need to export it. And when that loads, uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to export it as an LDRAW file, or LDR. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this format to LDRAW files, and uh, we're just going to put it straight on the desktop. So basically we're going to be making it into an LDRAW file, so we're going to change the format to an LDRAW file, uh, slash dot LDR, and uh, we're going to just save it as a house, and then we'll just click export, and now that should be exported to uh, my desktop, and I'm just going to quit LEGO Digital Designer for now. Now in Blender, you can close that little finder window, uh, we need to add that importer. So we're going to go File, User Preferences, and then in our Add-ons tab, uh, there's, you're going to see that there's a ton of add-ons that are already built into this, and we're just going to be ignoring that and going to Install from File. Now, we're going to be going to our Downloads, because that's where that is, the LDR importer, and then we're going to click on this import LDRAW.PY, which stands for uh, Python. And then we're just going to install from file. And you're going to see that that's our importer here. And we're just going to click the little checkbox to enable it. I recommend then hitting Save User Settings. That way you don't need to keep doing that uh, over and over again. So I'm going to click that there. And then I'm going to close the User Preferences window. Now. Uh, we're going to just delete this little cube because we don't want that in our model when we import it. So we're going to hit X and then we're going to just click on delete. Now we can go to File, Import, and you're going to see added to the bottom of this is LDRAW. So we're going to click that. And now uh, we're going to go to our desktop and you're going to see our house.ldr here. So while we may import that, we can't just yet. You're going to see uh, over here in this little drop down for import LDRAW model, uh, we're going to see the LDRAW path. Basically, what we need to do is point it to that LDRAW folder. And for me, that's going to be slash users slash uh, name slash documents slash LDRAW slash. Um, for you, it, on Windows, it may be uh, prepended with the C drive and that kind of thing. Whatever it is, basically what you can do is you can navigate to it, uh, and then, uh, basically you can navigate to it, and then you can just basically copy from this little thing up here. I have it blurred out uh, here, because, you know, that's my name, not showing that. And so, uh, basically, uh, you just put that in there, uh, and then you click Import LDRAW Model. Uh, I'm going to change my name here and then import that. And there we go. Now you can see that we've got our house imported into Blender. Let me just zoom out a little bit so we can see it better. 
And so, yeah. Um, now you may be wondering how we render this. Um, well, it's pretty simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just align... Uh, we're going to go to View, Align View, and we're going to align the active camera to the view. And I'm not worried about the cutoff there. And then we're just going to go up to our render, and then we're going to render image. Let's see how that looks. Okay, close. Um, let's see, where's our light? We have a light somewhere in this. Hmm. Let's just drop this down a little bit, and let's look for our light. There it is. Okay, yeah, that's why you couldn't properly see it. Let's drag this out a little bit in our 3D scene, so now that's somewhat over there. And let's render again, and let's see how that looks. There we go. So now we got our house rendered in Blender. Um, the reason it doesn't look completely good is because we are using the built-in render, which is the Blender render. Uh, the realistic render engine is the Cycles render, and it can produce some quite good results. Um, another thing that you may notice is that there's no, like, actual seam between the bricks. We can fix that. Um, so let me first grab both of these, the camera and the light, and I'm just going to move them to a separate layer real quick. Now I'm going to just delete this house. I'm going to pop over to the cycles, and I'm going to do the import again. So import LDRAW, and then... I'm just going to cut that from there, and then I'm going to check the spaces between bricks option there, and then I'm going to just paste that back in, and then I'm going to select the house.l draw, and then import. So now uh, our house should have uh, little itty bitty gaps between the bricks. Uh, let's just have all the lights and that kind of thing in, and then uh, we'll do a render on the image. So you can immediately see uh, that it's much better and m m looking a lot more like Lego with, you know, all the gaps between the bricks and the realistic lighting. And you may be wondering how we can increase, like, the realism of that. Uh, a, lighting, and B, uh, we want to go to the sampling tab and in our render, you can bump up the samples. Um, it was at 10, and now we set it to 100. So if we render that again, it'll take 10 times as long, but look much better. And there's the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, for getting models from LDD, or like a digital designer, into Blender, and then a simple tutorial on how to render them. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>